In this online lecture, we're going to discuss the concept of conformational isomers. And what we're going to see that conformational isomers are molecules that have the same number of atoms, but different conformations. So let me show you some examples of this. This molecule right here, two carbons long, would be called ethane. We saw before that we could represent ethane as a Newman projection, and one option is the staggered conformation. We also saw that we could represent this molecule as an eclipse conformation. These two Newman projections would be conformational isomers to each other. They would of course have the same number of atoms, but just be different conformations of each other. Keep in mind too that conformational isomers are always the same molecule, and they really just differ by rotating the bonds of the molecule. Remember we saw before that in order to go from the stagger to the eclipse conformation, you rotate the bond between the front and back carbon. Let me show you some more examples here. This molecule here is butane. One of his Newman projections looks like this. And remember we would term this the gauche Newman projection of butane. We also saw a conformation that looked like this. We would say the methyls are anti to each other. These are also conformational isomers to each other. Again, they're both the same molecule, butane, but just different conformations. Let me show you a few more examples here. These two molecules are also conformational isomers to each other. Notice these two molecules are the same molecule. They're both cis 1,3 dimethyl cyclohexane. Notice the structure on the left has methyls on carbon one and three, and they're both pointing in the downward direction. And in other words, making the methyls cis to each other. The structure on the right also has methyls on carbon one and three, they're both pointing up, which puts them on the same side as the molecule, and also cis to each other. And if you remember, these structures are just the ring flip version of each other. So ring flip versions are conformational isomers. We also saw that cyclohexane comes in other varieties as well. Chair, twist boat, boat, and half chair. All of these are conformational isomers to each other. So, what have we learned? What's it all about? Very simple here. Just know that conformational isomers have the same number of atoms, but different conformations.